Welcome in then to the latest edition of X. You're looking wrong. smart. You're looking something smart, Frank. Today, what's going on? It's it's something wrong. Wrong. What's happened? Um, uh, hey, Frenchy. Uh, Frank, what's wrong with him? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Has he not been home from that event he was yeah, at Yeah, you were at the uh, gala last night for Liga. Did you not get changed? Have you not come home yet? What's happened, Frank? <laughs> you know, I, I've got some jackets and I've other shirts, so I'm sorry, it's another shirt from uh, yesterday. It has nothing to do with the one yesterday. I had the time to go back uh, home to take a shower with the, uh, last night and uh, and this afternoon, so I, I'm clean, guy. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, but you with don't me. normally I make this sort of effort for us. Right? Normally, uh, you've got a rubbishy old hoodie on. Clothing allowance. Try to prove a well, point. I didn't put a tie, so that's it. That's the only difference, you know. And did you, do you have a tie? Do you have a? Um, yeah. How do you no, call but that? I don't normally. I don't yeah, normally dress tie. like you do at home. Like at home, you're much more casual. Normally. Well, you'd be a, you'd be a right scruff if you were on from home. Yeah, yeah but shorts. sometimes you know, sometimes you know, I want to I want to be nice. So can I, do yeah, I have the right to be uh, to present myself do. in a nice way? Or no? You can do whatever you want, Frank. That's fine. Uh, Remember we all did it from home during much. COVID. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, well, yes, yeah, so I did it from the studio and you did it from home. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah uh, well, so you're telling me I could look back, I wouldn't find one show you did No, it's like home. six week period where I did it from home, yeah. But for the majority I was here. Keeping the company afloat. Well, yes, indeed. Only yeah, people come, only people that bother their ass <laughs> to come a, in. That's all right, Steve. You, you can park your car nicely, not now, oh, all these people here. Yeah, well. uh, what do you think of Spurs fans celebrating the city goals, Stevie? Well, it was a little tongue-in-cheek, but at the same time... Um, there's no question. Why would sports fans want Arsenal not to win the league? Right. I mean, I, I don't understand what all the talk is. It's it's common sense to me that when you hate a team the way sports fans hate Arsenal, that they'll uh, sacrifice winning a game of football for the team that's going to beat the arch rivals. Makes complete sense to me. Yeah, but the play, but the, the team they were supporting wasn't sacrificing trying to beat the rivals. Mm -hmm. They were trying to win the game. So. But it was one one effect of the other, wasn't it? Sliding doors. I don't, but, yeah, but I, look, as I said on the show, it, it, I suppose I've not been a rival to Arsenal really. There's been the odd occasion, but apart from that, they, they are, they've not even been in the picture. Oh, no, no, supporters. Supporters. Everybody watches the show. Oh, why even bother? Well, you, so, well they, 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 I tell you what, the sports fans anyway, right? Well, we're at it. Okay, all right. I they get, they get, <laughs> they watch absolute crap. Get, right. com get comfortable. Yep. For, I don't know how many years, but after Pochettino, a good right. two or three years. The Mourinho Conte era. The Mourinho Conte, uh, Nuno Espirito Santo, uh, is on, we've, we all say it's unwatchable guff. Rotten. Right? Rotten to the core, everybody behind the ball, and finishing, all right, Conte, I think, was higher up, might have got them in the Champions League, uh, or thereabouts. But they finished eighth last year, and they were unwatchable. This year, we've talked about them a lot, and they've faltered yeah. at the end, and that's kind of where they are, fifth place, if, if that's where it finishes for them. And they're all moaning, these Spurs fans, not them all, but a majority of them. Oh, Angie's really got no plan B, you know? As if they've got a plan B. The punters, they haven't even got a plan A, some of these Muppets. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like they don't. This is this just does this does my head in with these supporters. Is they need a plan? <laughs> Some of them need a plan to get to the ground. They think they're Man City all of a sudden and Liverpool and Arsenal. They all they have they have eight months of good football and entertainment and all of a sudden this lot think they're world beaters and the manager's not got another plan. Muppets, absolute idiots. Ah. Oh. So I've pinned all my hopes and dreams on David Moyes getting a result away from home. How many minutes into the game will reality smack me in the face, Frank? Sorry, I'm reading it and getting a result away from home. How many minutes into the game will really smack me in the face? Well, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think. I think. I think. As as uh, Craig, I think mentioned during the during the show that um, it's never given and um, and uh, it could be because of the tension um, yeah because of the pressure that City um, play a little bit like today at some point and uh, don't give 100% and and be sure of their football so they, they, I think West Ham can uh, hold on the, the 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 good results you know for a while until until City gets the difference like they did against Crystal Palace when they, they won their first title uh, some some times ago uh, but really if I'm optimistic I think 15 minutes 
15 and, minutes. Uh, and City would score the first goal. 15 minutes, yeah. Uh, that's the dream, isn't it, for City? Score early, calm everything down. Mm. Mm. The dream. It's a dream. That's the dream. That's the dream. Does, uh, does dream. Unai Emery, Craig, deserve to be the coach of the season? Uh, so, you know, here we go. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to argue because City are like they're going to win the Premier League, which is great, but they faltered in the Champions League. I think what he's done has superseded anything that surely Villa could have expected. But Pep's led, they, it's history, no one's ever done this before. Yeah, but yeah, what, done what? Won four in a row if they win oh. at the weekend. Well, you're, you're asking me who's, ah. getting, who, who's doing more with less, and the answer is uh, Unai Emery. Right. To be honest. Okay. I don't think I was asking you that. I was well, asking. you were asking me something. Craig, Craig. No, I was asking who's the coach Craig, of the year. I wasn't saying. Well, you, who, you asked me who the coach of the year was. I said Unai Emery. I know, but then you put in like, who's doing more with less. I don't, know, I don't know why you put that in there. Oh, well, you, hold on. There. I said Unai Emery and you said, oh, it's Pep Guardiola, isn't it? And I'm like, no. No, I was just putting forward that he's, that he's doing something. Well, that you, well who's the coach of the year? Somebody that's working with less, a lot right. less. Yes. Players that played in the championship, that they got them up. Yep. Are now in the Champions League. Yes. Believe it or not, when he got the I, sack, Gerard, they were heading to, to, the, to the bottom three in, in the Premier League. They were. They were. And indeed. Villa don't have 115 charges no, for no. all these misdemeanours and, no. out, and overspend. That's very true. So There we go. Right, that's put me um, in my place. Uh, Frank, what did you want to add? Do well, you think it's Pep Guardiola Euro, right? No, I think... I, I, no, I think, I think I have a problem with the, the fact that we are awarding the unexpected. So let's say that mm. um, Unai Emery was, was unexpected to win or to, to finish fourth, therefore he's the best coach. So um, how come, uh, no, how you can give an award to Guardiola? Because everything is expected, he has to win. But if he does the job, and again for the fourth time in the row, and what, when you see him making big decisions like today with uh, the substitution of, uh, of Ederson for Ortega, um, and everything that he did, and uh, being consistent like, like his team is, uh, how can you think that Emery, who of course did with a, a let's call a, a smaller st squad than City, has finished fourth when Guadalajara finished first, therefore has done a better job, therefore I di did what he was expecting, which is winning the title, why Guadalajara doesn't get that award, being the best coach in the, of the season? Mm because he's got the most to work with. It's a bit like Areola at Bournemouth, he's got a new contract, it's the most points I've ever had in the Premier League, he's done a great job. You just, you, if you just want to look at the top all the time, then, then that's fine. Stephen, where do you stand on this? Uh, I stand with Guardiola. Right. What Thank you. Smirk, smirking it. Stevie, what do you think Pep can improve on this invincible Manchester City team? Well, they're not invincible. Uh, do they have any weaknesses? Yeah, I think I think the the only weakness they've had this year has been teams have been able to score against them too easily and have created more chances than normal. So I think I think they they've got to do something defensively right to, to get better. But that would be it. Is a City better or worse than last year? Worse. Right there you go. But Look how high oh, they I'm, set the bar. I'm just saying that. Are they better look, or worse? Look. They won the Champions League, the league and the FA Cup. They can't do that this year. Right. Right. So, so therefore he doesn't deserve... No, 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 no. But, but they, they have not been as good as last year. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And Villa have been much better. Right, but then they're... Much other... better. But, but he's not... But then again, he's not, he's not working. To keep, to keep the players on their toes for, the, for four years straight to be the best team, no, I'm not taking. Whether the no, I'm not. I'm not year. taking that away. But it's, I think as an achievement, an achievement is mean. It's more when I look at it, what Villa have done the first time in the Champions League, and I don't know how many years. I mean, I think it's. Well, I don't know how many. It's 20, 30 years, maybe more. That's to me a bigger surprise. Okay, uh, is Arteta having nightmares over his decision to go for the draw with Manchester City? Of course, he got a lot of credit after going to City. You know, getting well, that point. I think that's probably, and I don't know off the top of my head, I can't remember the games, there, there has to be other games where... Well, I think you look at the Villa game, don't you? Where Havertz played in midfield and that second half... Oh, where Villa, they were... Villa at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think you would look at that game more 
as the possibility as to where you dropped. Well, that was the, the little title. spell the little, in that little spell where they were not playing. Especially Shaka was at the game and the champion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The curse was at its finest. <laughs> but then again, is that a big surprise when they're playing against the team with the coach of the year? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, no, but that, I think there's probably other games to Yeah. But they'll definitely look at it and go, meh. But there's got to be other games against weaker sides, they think. Right, the Villa one you mentioned, uh, that they, they just... You look back and go, oh my God, that was the, that was the game, but... I think of all the games they've played this year, that's the one game they're not going to look back and think, I should have done something else. Right. Absolutely not. That, that one is, no, not. is low down on the list. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Stevie, do dugouts need to have more kickable objects? Today, both sides took considerable damage from substituted players. Yes. Yeah, they should be made of solid oak. <laughs> so what, they break the foot? <laughs> so, you, so whenever you... <laughs> Uh, I'm telling you, it stops you doing it. Because you kick I something and you... Yeah. I did it once. We were playing a, we were playing a, a US Open Cup game. And, the, the, and the, the dugout was solid oak. And I lost my rag and I punched it. Oh, my goodness. It took me about six weeks to recover. I thought I'd broken my knuckles. But I can assure you, I never tried to punch anything in a dugout again. So... <laughs> I wish we had footage of that. Oh, That'd be magnificent. Tell you what, I, what did Mariner do? Laugh? <laughs> he just looked at me and he was like, "Are you alright?" I went, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> "Oh, oh, tell you." I, I can't it, imagine you throwing a punch for any reason. Oh, oh bro, honestly. Yeah. I was sat. Well, I was sat right next to the side here. Right. Right. And it was a left hander, and I just rammed it, and I thought, well, because normally, normally all the benches are the kind of plastic glass. Yeah, because you've knocked the plastic. Yeah. Aye. Before, yeah. So you just automatically elbow in the plastic or punch in the plastic. <laughs> and I just completely forgot and I turned around and rammed it with my left my, my left hook. Oh. What was the particular incident that, that it was it a must huge be US Open Cup game? <laughs> you and the US <laughs> Open Cup, it always leads back there. Honestly, I just lost it. Uh, I can't even remember. Somebody have a bad touch. Probably. Somebody Again. Uh, Frank kicking, punching things, I can't imagine you, you doing that. Not really, not really. And uh, I have to say that when I, when I saw Bentancur or even Ederson after, I was pretty upset because that disrespectful towards the guy who comes on and towards the decision of the, of the, of the coach and, uh, and he creates uh, problems, you know, with the, maybe the journalist willing to know exactly what's going on, to go, to go a little bit deeper. I, 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 I would, I maybe smash once, you know, a wall in the dressing room but I never showed anything, especially if I had something against the coach or one of my teammates were, yeah. You know, I, I sometimes punch some stuff, you know. Did uh, you, Frank? At home when I'm upset. When I, yeah, sometimes, you know, because I get, uh, I get a little bit frustrated. And uh, uh, my phone is not a very good uh, state right now. He ended up two or three times against the wall because I was playing a game and I lost it. And I <laughs> threw it against the wall. Very bad idea. Doesn't wow, work. Frank. Doesn't change anything. I didn't anything. know you had that red stupid. mist element yeah. to you. I wonder, I wonder if anybody yeah, goes yeah, up to Benton Court. It can happen to me. <laughs> I wonder if anybody goes to Benton Court after and I, can or, I, can or maybe to tomorrow me. and says, what was that all about? Right. Because that's just, that's just not acceptable. Yeah. That's just nonsense. You must have played with some hotheads, eh? You must look have at seen my, people Look at my phone. Oh. oh, Frank. Oh. Look You're at my phone. You're a winner, man. <laughs> sort it out. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I know, but I'm a human being, so sometimes I can be very, very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did you see much? Well, you must have seen in the Yeah, in the I mean, rooms. I can't really remember much, but there's always been people done it. I told you, I think I told you this one, one of the lads kicked a, after a, a, a late equaliser once at Tynecastle, so one of the boys absolutely wellied the, uh, the big kit hamper. Right. Uh, oof. And his big toe, right. I don't think he broke it, but it was close. Oof. And then we went in the shower and we started laughing. He said, I thought it was the empty one. Oh. He kicked the full one. It was so a ton of <laughs> damp, horrible clothes. Yeah. It, he said, he said, I said what, somebody went, what'd you do that for, you idiot? He went, I thought it was the empty one. It was the full one. It never moved, did it? And he got it a right toe back. Did you see anything, Stephen, in the locker rooms? People kicking things, punching them? No, no. Throw, throwing their phones because they've lost the game? No, because... Because if, if anybody did that, if there was any sign of that, somebody would jump on it quick. Right. 
like babe, you sell what you think you're doing, what's all this? You don't need, you try to show us you're mad or something, don't be mad. Don't get, like Betancourt today, the classic for Ronnie Moran would be, don't be mad at getting taken off today. How about you mad at yourself for getting a yellow card stupidly? Yeah. So don't be having to go at us and don't be kicking the furniture or chairs and anything else. So don't be trying to blame sure. it on MDLs. Sure. You're the problem, you sort it out and don't do it again. That's exactly what he would have said to him. Wise words. Speaking of words, for Stevie and Frank, which Craigism is your favourite? Doing a 360, Times G or a reeking loof? We had a reeking loof oh, at Old sorry. Trafford. Aye. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> Not bothered is, is the, because surely he's still the king. No, is it? Yeah, I think so. Don't care. Don't care, not bothered. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think they, they're pretty I quite well. like Times G. Times G was quite Because that gets some more So what, remind me what it is again. It. It's XG. XG. Yeah. So right. X, it's a Times, isn't it? But it really annoys <laughs> you. Like, they're doing the 360, you had a bit of a giggle at it. You had a giggle at the Reek and Loof. But the Times G. The what? I, it's hard to say <laughs> exactly. that, isn't it? It's no easy. Once but you the start... Times G gets right uh, off your beak. Times G? Aye. Yeah. Any Burleyism you'd like to add to Frank? No, Don't nothing care. much. What is a 360? Uh, well, Craig, yeah, what is a 360? <laughs> yeah, Craig, Craig um, a couple of years ago, used the expression, oh, I did a, he's done a complete 360 there. When obviously he just did a 180 and he changed direction because if you did a 360, oh. you'll continue going. Well, it depends. Depends on what? <laughs> Where okay. you went to school? How far you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that is it. ESPN, are you back tomorrow? You're on tomorrow. <laughs> Manchester United playing Newcastle, Chelsea oh. playing Brighton. Depends on the result. Uh, as well, uh, we'll be looking back at those games. Steve, you're on holiday now for a week. Yeah. Have, Again? Have a lovely time. He's the new Shaka. Baby, sir. Nice time with the family. Oh, yes, lovely. <laughs>